What's up everybody? Uh, I just wanted to go over my experience so far with this CyberPower PC I got from Costco. Uh, if you haven't seen my unboxing video, it is just a quick overview. It's a 5800X processor with the 3070 video card. Uh, it's a really well-built system, uh, but I did have one issue with one game. So I will go over everything that I tried, and then at the end, I will go over what I did to fix it. So I'll try to make chapters in the video so you can just skip ahead if you don't want to go and listen to all the things that I tried. You can just skip ahead to the fix. So the game I was having constant issues with was Fortnite. Uh, I would load it up, I could maybe play for five minutes and then just crash and restart my PC. First thing I did when I booted up is I went through the settings and just increased everything to max settings. Um, this computer can handle it so I was like let's do it. So as soon as I changed it to DirectX 12 that's when I seemed to have issues. So I assumed that this was a DirectX 12 issue. So after googling that issue and trying a number of things like verifying the game files, running as administrator, uh, repairing visual C++ redistributables, uh, reducing the graphics, trying DLSS, I tried it in compatibility mode, I tried to turn off full screen optimization, uh, none of that worked. So then I tried to go into NVIDIA graphics settings. A lot of people were talking about that, like changing the 3D optimization or whatever it is, I forgot. I don't know, just changing a whole bunch of settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Nothing seemed to work. Um, I tried new graphics drivers. I've tried old graphics drivers. I would try to run DirectX optimization. I don't know, I did a whole bunch of stuff. And then I read that Cyberpunk 2077 was a DirectX 12 only game. So I'm like, well, if that works, then it's a Fortnite issue. So I try to boot up Cyberpunk and it crashes on the main logo. When it first boots up, CD Projekt Red comes up and it just crashed right out of that. It didn't restart my computer like Fortnite did, but it constantly crashed. So after trying to fix that as well, I just said forget it and I reinstalled Windows. I did a clean install, so basically wiped everything I had already changed and installed and everything along those lines. So after the reinstall, I tried Cyberpunk again and it worked strangely enough, but then Fortnite continued to crash. So here we go again. So now I thought it was a, maybe a monitor issue. This is a 165 hertz monitor. So I changed the refresh rate to 60 hertz. That didn't work. I tried full screen mode. I tried window mode. I tried a different monitor. None of that worked. It still crashed and rebooted every time. So then I thought maybe it's a memory issue. I read some things on that. So I removed one stick, put it in the right slot, tried to boot, tried to play Fortnite, crashed, tried the other stick, crashed. All right, not a memory issue. I even tried to run uh, the Windows memory diagnostic tool. No errors. So not a memory issue. So then I read uh, it could be a um, BIOS setting for the PCIe controller. Um, this was set to auto in my BIOS, so I changed it to Gen 3, which is PCIe 3.0 instead of the 4.0. Obviously it didn't work. So then I read that it could be drawing too much power. The graphics card could be drawing too much power. So I tried undervolting, I tried underclocking, I tried to set a specific voltage on the the graphics card. None of that worked. So then I tried to update my AMD chipset drivers 
Uh, that didn't work. That's where it gets weird. Every other game I tried had no issues. Uh, I've tried Call of Duty, Cyberpunk, once I got it working, worked no issues. Uh, Destiny 2, no issues. So any other game that I tried had no issues, no crashing. And those games are more graphically intense than Fortnite. So I don't think it was a video card issue, I didn't think it was a volting, overheating, none of that. The one thing I never tried was the a DDU, which is Display Driver Uninstall, I think, which basically is like a clean wipe of the drivers of your graphics card. Um, I never tried that, but with the fix that I found, I don't think it would have worked anyway. So now let's get to the fix. So in order to fix this, I had to update my BIOS. The BIOS version was from uh, late 2019, I believe. It's way before the AMD 5800X was released. So I believe there was an issue with the processor and the motherboard and the graphics card. They just weren't happy together without the latest BIOS version. So after I installed the BIOS, which I'm not going to go over here, there's a bunch of videos on that already. Updated the BIOS, restarted, got Fortnite up, and it's running perfect ever since. Obviously the other games work as well, but now Fortnite works. Um, I have streamed and played, I've recorded and played, and I've had zero issues. So if you buy a CyberPower PC or really any pre-built system with the new AMD chips, check your BIOS version and if it's older than when those chips were released, update your BIOS. And I'm sure the AMD chipset drivers helped as well. So that's it. That's what I would recommend if you are having issues. Thanks for watching.